Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MJNA. We will take a look at the daily chart. This one we've done quite a few times, but one of the most, if not the most popular stocks out there on the message board and so forth. And rightfully so, when you have a stock that's gone from sub 10 cents up to, you know, as high as 50 cents on millions upon millions of dollars of dollar volume, you know, it makes sense. So want to get things updated. I believe the last couple of videos uh, we did were on the 60 minute chart, but this time we're going to take a look at the daily chart. Just want to point out a couple things. Uh, and that way it'll give everybody an idea of what sorts of things to, to keep an eye on from the, the charting angle. So the first thing I want to do is just talk about a couple levels of support. And the first level of support that really seems to be uh, digging in in terms of the bulls making a stand is right here at 41 cents. Changes to green to represent support and then explain where that comes from. But you can see here uh, back on uh, the 8th, that's where the profit taker stepped in right up there at 41 uh, and then the next day, that's right where it closed, was at 41. So it was a very evident level of resistance for two days in a row. And then the price gapped up and made a nice move above it. Uh, and for the past two days, at least, even on this third day, it went down as low as uh, 41 and a half. Uh, you can see that the price has been back testing it. So nice little example of a resistance turning into a support. But nonetheless, uh, right now, 41 cents is the best case ideal level of support. I say ideal because if the price falls below it or anything, by no means is the chart, you know, toast or history. But if you would ask me what would be the ideal level, 41 cents would be my answer. Now, if that one doesn't hold, another level of support is down here at uh, 35 cents. Changes to green, and then we'll talk about where that comes from. Again, if you look back here, you can see it was a level of resistance when the price did get above it. Nice explosion when the price fell below it here. You can see right there, tried to get above it, but couldn't quite do it. So an example of a support turn into a resistance. But now that the price is back above it, 35 cents is another level of support. And then you have your moving averages down here that'll also act as support. But for the time being, where the chart currently stands, uh, the two levels of support are gonna be up here at 41 and 35 cents. Resistance wise, this is about as straightforward as it gets, but there's clearly a seller up here uh, at this 50 cent level. You can see three times now the price has gone up there and bounced off of it. Uh, so I don't know what the deal is up there, but there's clearly a seller. There's clearly shares uh, being sold every time it gets up there. Uh, but the good news is uh, the more stubborn level of resistance, if the price can break through it, usually the, the, the bigger the pop. So uh, this level is definitely stubborn. So if the bulls can push through it, you know, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a nice, uh, continued uh, pop from it but first got to get through it uh, but with every single time it does get tested it gets a little bit weaker and weaker uh, but for the time being 50 cents is no doubt uh, the key level of resistance for the chart so if there are any other questions on the chart though please let me know if not i'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter up there when you do that as you'll see you'll get a free ebook and if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting and make an investment into your education as a trader i'd encourage you to check out our video course down there over eight and a half hours of information and video training so i'd encourage you to check it out read some third-party reviews and testimonials one more time this was mjna thanks for listening